Hello, I'm Aaron Lambert with High Sierra Workshops. In a previous episode, we explained the three things that affect exposure, aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. And to establish your exposure, you can use the Sunny 16 basic daylight exposure rule. Set your f-stop at f-16, then simply match your shutter speed to your ISO. For example, f-16 with an ISO of 200 means your shutter speed is 1 200th of a second. But what if you need a certain shutter speed, f-stop, or ISO? From the correct Sony 16 exposure, if you change one setting, then the exposure will be off and you'll need to compensate. It's like balancing a scale. If you adjust the aperture, it will change the exposure and you will need to select either the shutter speed or an ISO to make up the difference. For example, if the Sony 16 exposure is f16 at 1 1 of a second and we had to change the aperture to f11, we opened up one stop, meaning we let in twice the amount of light. We must then make up for it by cutting the amount of light in half using either the shutter speed or the ISO. So in the case of adjusting the shutter speed, the shutter changes from 1 1 of a second to 1 2 50th of a second. Here's a tip we share in the workshops. Count the clicks. For example, the number of clicks you move the aperture dial in one direction, then the shutter speed dial must be moved in the other direction the same amount of clicks. But here is an important observation. The exposure will be absolutely the same but the image would appear very different. When you change your aperture and shutter speed, aside from changing the exposure, you are also changing two visual effects that are byproducts of the aperture and shutter speed. Depth of field connected to the aperture and motion blur connected to the shutter speed. ISO also comes into play as a control that you can adjust instead of aperture or shutter speed. Sometimes you just can't change your aperture or shutter speed. Say you need a certain depth of field or you need to freeze the action. Your only choice is to change your ISO. The combination of these three controls, an exposure triangle, allows you the most control over your image and the control to create your own images. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you on the next episode of HSWTV.